Now that you've heard the explanation of proboscis monkeys, I'm going to tell you that other than proboscis monkeys, there are two other species found in mangrove forests. One of them being fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs occur in large amounts. Both male and female crabs live in the mix, and each fiddler crab has its own burrow. Their burrow protects them from predators and high tide, and also becomes a water source during low tide to keep their gills wet. A fiddler crab's diet consists of algae, bacteria, and decaying marsh plants. To eat, they sift through the mud for food. Often, a fiddler crab eats in a puddle to help them separate their food from sand. Every male fiddler crab has a single enlarged claw, whereas female fiddler crabs have two small claws. The male fiddler crab's claw is mainly for mating and territorial displays, rather than combat. Did you know that fiddler crabs are poor swimmers? They generally avoid deep waters. Another interesting fact is that fiddler crabs reabsorb their shells instead of shedding them as they grow. The next species is mudskippers. Mudskippers are conspicuous fishes in mangrove forests. This is because they spend most of their time on land. Mud skippers breathe by storing water in their mouth and gill chamber. Mud skippers have eyes on top of their heads. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot both prey and predators from afar. Their pair of dexterous and muscular leg-like pectoral fins enable them to crawl over the mud and even climb trees. A mud skipper's diet consists of worms and small crustaceans that live in the river mud. Some mud skippers feast on algae that grow on mangrove roots and others eat insects. Did you know that mudskippers are able to withstand low levels of oxygen that only few animals can survive? They are also able to breathe anaerobically for a long time and endure concentrations of hydrogen sulfide. 